Hello my friends. I just wanted to take you out here on a virtual field trip. You can hear that I'm out in nature because there's some cows lowing in the background and there's some machinery going. But over here, I wanted to show you this long line of tubing that you can see going the whole length of the tree line. Can you guess what kind of trees these tubes are attached to? That's right. They're attached to sugar maples. We can zoom in on one of the taps over here and you can see that it's inserted into the tree and it's going to collect some of that sap from inside the tree. All of that sap is going to get collected into big tanks. And those tanks are right over here. This big tank gets filled up to the brim with sap from collection sites that are all around the woods. They get picked up by pickup truck and the sap is poured into this big, big tank. Then the sap is pumped in to the building behind me, which is a sugar house. And we're gonna get to go inside and see what's going on in there. Follow me. The sweet water sap from which maple syrup is made is different from the circulatory sap of the growing tree. When the tree is dormant in the winter, the sweet sap will flow from any wound in the sap wood, such as a tap hole, each time a period of freezing is followed by a period of thawing. The sap contains 1.5 to 3% solids, which is mostly sucrose, which is not a lot of uh, sugar content. And it doesn't have the same color or flavor as maple syrup. The flavor of maple syrup is imparted to the sap when it's concentrated by evaporation in open pans or by being boiled down. About 115 to 190 liters or 30 to 50 gallons of sap yield around one gallon of syrup. Wow. So those tanks that you saw outside get filled up with the sweet water sap. And that sap comes into this building through the hoses and it gets sucked up into a holding tank, which is up here. Let's go visit. All of the sweet water sap is coming into the building and getting sucked into this holding tank. And then it's going to flow back down via gravity, the force that keeps us grounded to the earth. It's going to go back downstairs to where it gets boiled down and makes us our lovely, delicious maple syrup. The sap then goes from the secondary holding tank all the way down into this machine, which collects the sap and starts heating it up. And as the sap boils down, it comes into each of these four chambers 
and it gets denser and denser and denser as it boils down. You might notice that as being thicker and thicker and thicker and darker in color. That's where we get different grades of syrup from. And then the finished product will come out of this faucet right here and into a pail or a pint or gallon container where it's then packaged and you can enjoy it at home with your waffles, pancakes, and French toast. So my friends, I hope you had fun here today at the Sugar House. This house is on the property of my boyfriend's and his parents on their farm. And the beams from this are from his great grandparents' house. They're over a hundred years old. So there's a lot of history in this building and it's pretty darn cool. Thanks for coming to check out Angel Family Maple Farm with me.